What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to Sports Talk Unbiased TV, where I give you my unbiased views on every sport. Now, I'm dropping T Top versus Rum Nitty Saturday. Yes, I'm dropping T Top versus Rum Nitty Saturday. I cannot play the video. Y'all know that. I'll get a copyright strike. On my channel. Now, if you want the videos, understand you have to drop your email in the comments. You have to subscribe. You have to like the video, subscribe, drop your email in the comments. And if you already subscribed to my channel, you have to like the video and share it. And I will drop, give you the video with T Top versus Rum Nitty. Now, some uh, listen. A lot of y'all make it. A lot of y'all. Some of y'all. It's some bad. It's, it'd be some rotten apples out there. A lot of y'all make it bad for the people that really want the battle. So don't come on my channel disrespecting me, saying all kind of crazy stuff. You know I can't play the, the video on YouTube. It'll get it. I can't get no strikes. So if you want to continue to get these battles, okay, you have to understand and and, and follow the instructions to get the battle. All right. Now, once again, drop your email in the comments, like, share, and, and I will send you the video. Now, if you already subscribed to my channel, just like the video, share it, and drop your emails in the comments, and I'll give it to you, and I'll give you the battle. This is the first 500 people. I cannot give the battle out to 20,000 people. That's too much. <laughs> I can't, that's way too much. I can't do it. 30, 20,000 people, that's too much. All right, first 500 people get it, so you got to tune in Saturday. All right, now I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion of the video. Now, T-Top, you know, I give him the second and third round. I give Rum Mitty the first round. And I was a little shocked because um, T-Top did something very different this battle. I, now, listen, don't get me wrong. I love Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty, he never disappoints you. Every battle he comes out in, Rum Nitty be smoking, I tell you, boy. I mean, battle rappers really have to prepare for Rum Nitty. And they know they're not going to get a lackluster performance and not going to get lackluster bars from Rum Nitty. I think Rum Nitty's Achilles heel, his his only biggest problem was people, a lot of battle rappers start to figure out. Rum Nitty just is too many gun bars. You all know he's just going to keep saying his Mac, his Tech, his Desert Eagles, his Glock, the 40, the 30, got the 12. You already know what to expect. And I think that sometimes that is disappointing. And this battle, T-Top, he understands people got tired of his struggle bars, his, you know, his so-called drug dealer bars. He knew people was getting tired of that. So he switched it up and came with a whole different angle and a whole different perception of bars, and he had a Walmart angle <laughs> for Rum Nitty. I don't want to get a battle away, but he had a Walmart angle, and it was hilarious. Not only was it hilarious, he was dropping some bars, okay? He found out Rum Nitty works at Walmart, <laughs> and it was hilarious, but he was dropping some fire bars with it, and it was so funny and fire, even Rum Nitty had to laugh. Even Rum Nitty was laughing and giving him a pound because the, it was just surprising the route that T-Top took. It was totally different. And I was like, okay, boom. I see T-Top, he's evolving even more. He's not just being one-dimensional. See, here, here in Battle Rap, you always have to evolve. You can't, you can't be one-dimensional, man. You could be the hottest... The hottest uh, uh, um, battle rapper out there. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to be too predictable to beat. I'm going to say that again. If you're a battle rapper, you keep doing the same thing over and over again. You're going to be, going to be too easy to beat. And Rum Nitty, I think he's becoming a little predictable. A little predictable. Fire bars. He's one of the top tier. I mean, he, this guy right here, you got to prepare for Rum Nitty. But... He gets too predictable, and that's where T-Top took the battle, and that's where T-Top killed him. And T-Top even had a Tech 9 bar. Whew. Man, that Tech 9 bar was crazy. <laughs> I don't want to give away the battle, but I was like, yo, I don't want to give it away now. But that Tech 9 bar was like, whew. He was talking about 
He, he tied it in with Walmart and checking out. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. He said, you know, he tied it in with Walmart and check out and how uh, the reason why Tech 9 checked out. It was just crazy. Crazy. But Rum Nitty was smoking. I give it a hats off to Rum Nitty. It just wasn't enough to win the battle. It just wasn't enough. And T-Top took over the battle in the second and third round, especially the third round where it was just a knockout punch. You know how you have a, a boxer on the ropes and, um, you know, everybody's just waiting for you to knock the boxer out. Like, come on, when's he going to knock him out? And the second round, you know, Rum Nitty kind of was on the ropes. And in the third round, he kind of knocked him out with the Walmart angle, and he was dropping some fireballs with it. So I edged the battle. Uh, well, I, listen, T-Top won unanimously. And there wasn't an edge. He didn't edge. He beat him. It wasn't a body, but he beat him. You know how you got uh, unanimous to see? He won unanimously, all right? Um, so 2-1, T-Top in this battle. T-Top really surprised me because I thought Rum Nidge was going to smoke him. I'm going to be real with you. I thought Rum Nitty was going to tear his head off. <laughs> I really did. I thought Rum Nitty was going to go in on him. But Rum Nitty came in just a little too predictable, man. I was just like, ah, it's fire, Rum Nitty, but we used to hearing that. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Rum Nitty had some interesting bars. He had some interest. Hold on. He had some good punches and schemes. And even Rum Nitty had a few schemes that went over people's heads. I was like, oh, that was nasty. He had some schemes down. I ain't going to lie. He, he threw some schemes in there. It, it was a little over their head. I said, whoa, y'all didn't catch that? <laughs> but uh, some people did. You know, our battle rap thinkers caught it, you know. But I'm your boy Zillion now. I'm dropping the battle Saturday. Y'all get ready for the battle. I'm telling you, the first 500 people get it. And I got all, I listen, I got all the battles, but I'm dropping the battles how I want to drop the battles. Please don't, don't say you got, drop, drop this. Don't tell me what to drop, when to drop on my channel. I don't have to give nobody any battles, okay? I have other channels that I have. This is not my only channel. I got a couple other channels that I do a lot of other stuff on. I have main YouTube channels. I just decided to start a sports channel because I'm passionate about sports and I'm passionate about battle rap also. So that's why I started this Sports Talk on Bias TV. I will also be going live on a lot of battles, too, and stuff like that. So this channel, I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff, um, just showing my love to the battle rap culture and showing my love to people that really, maybe everybody can't afford the, uh, the pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't afford pay-per-view all the time. Everybody don't have it like that. So I'm just giving back because I, I can buy pay-per-view anytime I feel like it. I can get whatever battles, you know, I can watch them anytime I can get any battle. I can get them. It's point blank. I don't care. I can get any battle. And um, I'm just giving back to the battle rap culture. And I want this channel to be a channel where we all could just give our opinions, talk about battle rap. I'm going to even go live to talk about some of these battles. I'm even go, I might even go live and, and have a recaps and uh, maybe sh do certain clips of certain battles um, that that's coming up, stuff like that. I just want this to be a channel for us battle rappers, or those that love battle rap, to come here, get 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 some good content, get some good battles, get some good reviews, get some unbiased views. That's what I want. Unbiased view, because too many biased views in hip hop. Just because I like a battle rapper, don't mean I'm not going to speak the truth about battle rappers. Like one of my favorite battle rappers is Charlie Clips, but it came a time and one time. Charlie Clips stopped taking battle rap seriously, and he just fell off to me. I was like, damn, what happened to Charlie Clips? Charlie Clips would come out and smoke people like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> like, he was just smoking people, man. And, and his punches and his schemes and him bringing schemes back and mixing it up and doing it again. It was crazy how um, Charlie Clips was. But then Charlie Clips fell off for a second. I was like, damn, what the hell happened to Charlie Clips? You know, one of my favorite battle rappers, man. And, um, you know, I, I'm going to speak the truth about any battle rapper. I don't care if I like them. Your, URL crowds is what I don't like about URL. Is if they like a battle rapper, they're not going to admit when they lose. I cannot stand that. What kind of crap is that? Just because they like the battle rapper, they're going to lie and say he won, even though he got whooped. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I'm, I'm going to even drop the K-Shine and Tay Rock video. I'm going to drop the Tay Rock. Yes, I'm going to drop in the Tay Rock and K-Shine after this one. And listen, I love Tay Rock. Tay Rock lost to K-Shine, y'all. 
He lost to Kate Shine. Yes, he lost. A bunch of biased fans is going to say, oh, Rock smoked him. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, Rock didn't. And even when K-Shine was spitting, Tay Rock had to give him his props. Because uh, K-Shine was smoking. K-Shine was smoking. Like, I was like, oh, K-Shine. This was different K-Shine. And Tay Rock had to shake his head while he was rapping. So, come on, y'all. I'm going to drop the Tay Rock. Versus K Shine battle, and I know URL's biased. Tay Rock never lost a battle, you know, and I love Tay Rock. Tay Rock's one of my favorites. I call him the son of Charlie Clips, <laughs> even because Charlie Clips sunned him twice. So, you know, and Tay Rock even admitted, he said, My Charlie Clips battle is what battles is what made me want to step my game up. Tay Rock even admitted that. So, I call him the son of Charlie Clips, even though he's, he was the face of URL, and Tay Rock is that nigga. I give it to him in battle rap. He's that nigga. I, I, man, Tay Rock never disappoints you. But he lost to uh, he lost to K Shine, and I'm gonna be dropping that battle and doing my review on that next. I'm your boy Z, and I got a lot of stuff coming to y'all here, man. So y'all get ready. Um, all the bad apples that come on here and say crazy stuff, I'm blocking and deleting you. This channel is not going to be no disrespect on my channel, and I'm sitting here giving out battles, and I'm making this a nice, unbiased place for people to give their reviews with no disrespect, period. You come disrespecting, you ain't getting a battle, I'm blocking you, get off my channel. We're not going to have that over here. This is only unbiased reviews, because I see people, when I post a video and I talked about the last video, we had people talking about uh, 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 um, uh, um, cussing at me and cussing at other people in the comments. I'm talking about who won between uh, who who won the battle between Cassidy versus Goods. I said Cassidy won bar wise. He did, he did. Period. And 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 the URL crowd was already ready to boo Cassidy, but he had his first round was crazy. I give him the first and third round. His third round was tight, but you know they did they, 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 they were trying to boo him. They didn't want him to win. Of course they didn't want Cassidy to win though. <laughs> he had undeniable bars. Especially in the first round, they did not want him to win. And I just think battle rap has gotten out of character where you can finesse your way out or swag or style your way out or perform your way out. I just think that that, that, that level of battle rap, I don't, I can't agree with that. Because battle rap is supposed to be about bars. Your bars are supposed to win battles, not just your performance. So like I said, perform, if you want to judge it like that, Cassidy won bar-wise. Performance, yes. Yes, uh, 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 um, um. Goods is a good performer. But he, he lost the battle bar-wise. But I'm your boy Zillionaire. Like I say, man, this is going to be a channel for all unbiased battle rap fans. Okay? Or sports fans or whatever. I'm going to talk about sports and battle rap is one of my passionate. I'm really passionate about battle rap because I'm from Philly. I grew up in the, in the 90s where we did battle rap on the street. And now to see where it has evolved into a multi-billion dollar business. And young men are, are, are building their brands and the platform that, that that has been given in battle rap is a great thing to see from the 90s, you know? So it's just a great thing to see battle rap from where I come from, man. I'm your boy Zillionaire. You put your thoughts in the comments. I'm, what am I? Why do I always say put your thoughts in the comments? <laughs> Drop your email in the comments. The first 500 people get the battle. I'm not giving this battle out to 20,000 people. That's too much, all right? First 500 people get it, and... Whoever get the battle, if you want to give it to somebody else, that's fine. If y'all want to, listen, if if, if y'all get the battle, y'all help pass it out with me. Put it like that. If y'all get the battle and I give it to the first 500 and people come in the comments and they want it to, you just you just send it to them for me, all right? Because <laughs> I can't do 10,000 videos. You know, that's, that's too much. I'm out of here. Put I'm out of here. Drop the email in the comments. Like the video. Share the video. And I'm dropping T-Top versus Rum Nitty this Saturday. Y'all stay tuned. I'm out of here.